they will slice open some of this elephant meat, cook it, and eat it. It's still good. Frozen for millions of years. So, uh, what was the reason I said that? So you asked me if it happened before. Yes, it happened it before. Happened. A spirit being, a very powerful spirit being, when was it? took all the air off the planet, froze it in less than 60 seconds. Yeah, when was it? Hmm? When was it? When it? It happened. Many years ago. Many years ago. How many days? Many years. Many years or? I don't know how many. I don't know how many, but it's a long time. Yeah, I, I don't even know if that was the ice age or what. But it, everything was frozen. The whole planet was frozen. Um, that cares. So I read to help them, right? Because I can adjust all, I can grow um, better by pure energy. So you try to contact you uh, and. It didn't happen. So now what? So listen to you. Hmm? Listen to you. He would tell you something. So that's the case. I would like to help you by peering you from my bow. You want to have what? To help. To help the world. Hmm? Yeah, to help the world. He wants elephant meat from Siberia? Yeah. He, yeah. Said he, he wants can to do cook it. it and eat no, it? No, no. He said he can do it. Hmm? He can do it. He can take... He can take, force it like that. Huh? He can do it that way. <laughs> freeze, freeze the planet? Yeah. yeah. Make everybody die? <laughs> no, not, not die to help them help them. By freezing them? No, in the, in the same way, like. <laughs> not by... <laughs> to make the weather good. Weather warfare, heart. Secret weapon, secret weapon used for weather modification. The secret weapon used for weather modification. <coughs> Harp climate control can kill nations. Kill nations. And killed nations, huh? What kind? Can trigger hurricanes, blizzards, mm. and <coughs> own weather, own, okay. own the weather for World War Three. American forces used weather warfare during Vietnam War. Climate warfare would be a game changer in superpowers, burn through billions to the world, develop futuristic ultimate weapons to wage war. 
tanks can't, could be frozen. Warships left sailing blind and ice. Icy and I don't fog. think we should be blasé in any plan. way about what no deal means. It means punishing tariffs on everything we import and export to our largest trading partner. It means no security. That's hard. They can make, they can make uh, weather warfare hard. Uh, I don't know sci-fi. It could kill a nation without the deployment of troops and military hardware. Doesn't need military, doesn't need doesn't troops, need doesn't need troops. anybody. <laughs> they can just kill the whole plant, whole nation. <laughs> Own the weather by 2025. Proposing the weapon system could be used as revolutionary. Instead of nuclear bombs, they can use weather. So you have to be more powerful than the weapon. Protect. He can protect not to happen. You see? Hard. Some believe the U.S. has already developed an atmospheric altering weapons. Hurricane auto destroys one. Yeah, then he can do also. He can protect it. All you need is one powerful person like him take all the air off the uh, planet and freeze everything. Everybody <laughs> died all. After you freeze everything, the planet is yours. <laughs> you better keep a girl with you so you can make more babies. <laughs> 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 no, he just want to not, not just want to protect it in the half way like that, not, not I know, go but to the, the end of if he goes and advertise uh -huh. if he go out and advertise he can change the weather. For our what? Say he goes to Japan and he can prove uh -huh. that he can change the weather. Uh -huh. The people that control, that want to control the weather and the warfare, uh -huh. maybe they will try to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> So I I suggest you don't need to tell everybody you're going to change the weather. Just do it without speaking. And just cure people because they won't say anything about. They won't try to kill you. And how people will know him? Huh? How they will know him? Because he's going to heal their bodies. He can heal the people. But if first, he, first he has to heal the people first, right? And then... If he, if he, if people, if he can use touch to heal people, huh. he, it already, he already can prove it right now. But if he go up there and start changing the weather instant like this, he's gonna open bells are gonna bells all over the world gonna alarm alarm 
We got a guy over here going to change our weather. We better kill him or something. So, it's, it's okay if he want to change the weather and tell everybody, but he has to have an army <laughs> to, protect, <laughs> to protect himself. <laughs> For protection, protection. <laughs> Only this way can do, uh, otherwise cannot. Unless, unless, very, okay, very if they send armies after you, and you can freeze the army? <laughs> you can be sure, you can be sure they're going to try to kill you. <laughs> See, like, what you do is, uh -huh. you put an elephant on the stage, mm -hmm. and you put some people over here who are sick. You heal them, and then you freeze the elephant on the stage, right in front of everybody, and they go. Go <laughs> They're going to go, when the people that he healed, they're going to oh, it's beautiful. But when they see the elephant frozen, they're going Put the uh, okay. So here you have North Pole is here, uh, and elephant here, and the apple trees are here. So when you flip the axis, the apple trees go here, and the elephants go here. And you make all of the of the other, right? See, so the. It had to be done by a spirit. It couldn't be done by... There's no natural way to do this. There's no natural... You can't... An earthquake or anything else cannot do this. It has to be a, power, a powerful spirit. He would have to pull all the air off the planet and freeze it in less than 60 seconds. He has to freeze this elephant in less than 60 seconds, or there's not going to be frozen vegetables. So he freezes them. When he pulls all the air off the planet, the elephant becomes instantly, in the whole elephant, they have to freeze the whole elephant in less than 60 seconds. And then, he, he threw this planet in a spin that flipped it off the axis. And the axis this way. and the axis moved up, uh, and the elephant again, elephant went from like here. Yeah. Elephant went from here to here. <laughs> if you ask the scientist, huh? how can you freeze an elephant in 60 seconds? Cannot. There is no natural way that no. they can. Freezing out. Freezing out. 
So you can ask the question. On May, was that while the public can get a remarkable glimpse of our planet's path, scientists will be challenged our diamethyl and how could they have become encased in permafrost. One of the most power, popular is that the hairy elephants were peacefully grazing Frozen mammoth carcass found in Siberia have challenged Man. our imagination for centuries. These carcasses sometimes come with skin, hair, internal organs, including the heart. Reports of these discoveries intrigue adults and children alike for different reasons. One island in New Siberia Islands off Arctic Ocean coast is described as mostly mammoth bones over the years. In lucrative ivory trade, the scientists struggle to understand why these elephants live in Siberia and how they died. As a result of these strange discoveries, why would the woolly mammoth and horse be attracted to Siberia? Today, Siberia is a barren blizzard scorched wilderness. How could the animals have endured extreme cold winter? What would they eat? Where would the beasts locate prodigious quantities of water? A quick freeze came to mind. Bird's eye frozen food company ran calculations and came up with a staggering minus 150 Fahrenheit. Once again, the scientists were puzzled. How could such temperatures be reached on Earth, especially when apparently they were in very temperature environment? <coughs> they can't answer it. They don't know how. They have to answer the question. If the vegetables in the stomach <coughs> are still good, frozen, is frozen, it has to be frozen in less than 60 seconds. Mm -hmm. And then you have to figure out what can you do to freeze an entire elephant in less than 60 seconds. And how did he get to Siberia? And if he's in Siberia and he's got tropical vegetables, he should be, shouldn't be in Siberia, he should be in a tropical area. Somehow he got shifted <coughs> in Siberia. 
and frozen in less than 60 seconds. The only thing that can do that would be a powerful spirit. Got angry one day, pulled all the air off the world, and flipped the planet. Boom, boom. Frozen elephants in Siberia. See, in the school I was in, study about, they take people in the past and you can find out everything that happened to you all the way billions of years ago. Billions of years ago. Billions, you know, people are finding out some of the problems they have started billions of years ago. Maybe not on this planet. This planet. Mm -hmm. In but this planet. the... What was I going to say? Most of the people coming on this planet have been coming in the last 500 years. That's where, why all the sciences, the science and engineering and all this stuff suddenly pop up. And you ask why? Because up there, this planet belongs to Confederation of Planets. Central planet, but this is a prison planet. Huh? Prison. Prison. <laughs> and they have force fields around the planet. Mm -hmm. They have implant stations in the mountains of different places. An implant station inside the mountain. When you die, uh -huh. you go to these implant stations and go through the electronics and wipe out your memory. What they do is they flood lives for 59, 53 days. You're flooded with electronics. Everybody that dies gets flooded with on these implant stations. They also have the implant stations on Mars and Venus. They all have, <coughs> that's to keep anybody from, if you have a prison planet, you don't want anybody to escape. <laughs> So it's these, these, these planets aren't designed in a hundred years. They designed over billions of years. It took them to. Who designed this planet? The people that were running the, that running the government up there. You mean alien? Hmm? You mean alien? Alien had designed it. Hmm? <laughs> <coughs> this planet is on a rim. <coughs> this planet is on the, on the rim. It's the rim star. This sun. <coughs> Here's the Milky Way, and this sun is on the rim. And it's a very convenient place to, for not only Milky Way, but other galaxies like to dump all their garbage onto this planet. Their garbage means people or anybody they want to put in prison. Oh, no, I'm blowing you with the Yeah. They cannot kill a spirit. 
but they can hit him with an incredible amount of force. Force. <laughs> and knock him out. They can knock him out. And while he's knocked out, they can flood him with billions of pictures a second. These pictures all full of lies. For, do it for about 53 days and his whole memory is going to be full of lies. He won't be, re he won't be able to remember who he is or where he came from. So, uh, the bad thing about it is it's the prison planet. The good thing about it is they can't stop us from getting they can't stop us this planet, they can't stop from healing ourselves. Becoming, oh. They can't stop us from being powerful spirits again. So you can develop a technology here to regain your powers. Because they're not going to come down here. If they come down here, they get trapped themselves. They don't want to get trapped themselves. So. So the good thing about a prison planet is you can develop a technology to get your powers back. Okay. <coughs> And the people who are guarding the place aren't going to come down here to stop you because they will be trapped. They don't want to be trapped. Too dangerous for anybody who thinks they want to come down here and save their friend. There's no way they're going to come down here and try to save their friend because they will be trapped They have too. the friend in the prison planet also. Hmm? They have like maybe somebody have his friend <laughs> trapped down here. He's not going to come down here to try to get him. Because I don't think you can find anybody that love somebody else that much that he want to get himself trapped forever. Oh, they won't do it. You mean you F all right? Hmm? You mean you F all UFO, isn't it, to control this? UFO. The UFO has been around for millions of years. Do you want to know how they move? Uh, they come to this earth also. They come to this world, the area. That's all in time. These are grays. They were in, they were from, I, I don't remember the star system. They had a war uh -huh. with some other part of the galaxy. And they ended up with too much radiation. And that's why their bodies become like, their whole bodies become deformed from radiation. Radiation power? Hmm? Radiation of power of uh, their power? But whatever radiation they were using, like atomic bomb radiation or anything like that, 
cause them to become like. Okay, so uh, the grays are not mostly servants. Mostly servants? Yeah, they're not. Uh, they serve other alien races. Like if you want to do these are the palladium. Different, different types of. These are the palladium. Chua. Chua. That's known as Nordic aliens are, palladian are humanoid aliens that come from stellar systems surrounding the Pleiades stars and. They really, really, they're really, really, really concerned about Earth and our future. They're interested in making the, the world better. Palladians are humanoids, better looking versions as is. They nearly always lack pigmentation in the skin and hair, giving them, they look like a bino. Many Palladians have Asian appearance similar to grades. As a rule, Palladians do not carry around much excess fat, although females are known to have curvy figures. They don't usually have curly hair or beards. Humans and Palladians share ancestors since Earth was once Lyran was once a Lyran colony. This used to be a colony. <coughs> Despite this, certain differences are profound as some races inhale nitrogen and exhale <coughs> nitrous oxide, means, which means that Plato's got cellular respiration completely backwards, although it is true that some organisms reduce molecular nitrogen. This is very endoric process used to obtain it. Pleiadian diet and digestive system are arguably exotic. Food is ingested from the mouth, broken down by an organ that vaguely resembles the stomach. So that's the Pleiadian. Andromedas, another race, the Andromedan star system. I, I don't know, something like a hundred and something different alien races are on the planet. Some place. Hidden underground, or I don't know. Yeah. So, what was we trying to get out of this? Huh? We were talking about mammoth, and now we're into. Oh, you said. <coughs> Who are these people that pull the earth? Uh -huh. 
It would have to be someone with godlike powers. We have entities that had godlike powers, and they were running the galaxy. And then you have the government that don't have the godlike powers. So we have those governments. And then you have planets with different races. And then you have this planet is made into a prison planet. Because you can't kill, you can't kill a spirit. So you have to trap them in a body with their memory. I have to get them stuck inside a body like <coughs> with the memory gun. That's why they have force fields around the planet. So when you die, you go hit this force field. It's going to knock you into one of these implant stations. And on the implant station, it's going to hit you with all this force and flood you with all this negative lies and make your memory go away. And then you'll end up in, you'll end up back in another body. You'll end up back here. You don't get off the planet. They don't make prison planets so you can escape. You know, so I can say probably very few, less than 10 maybe, have ever escaped the prison planet. <laughs> <coughs> the good thing is that you you don't have to get in any terrible Star Wars. Terrible Star Wars. Some war up in the stars. Uh -huh. Everybody's zapping each other. Up. The bad thing is. You might get put in the wrong country. You could end up in Middle East with some crazy religion like Shite, Muslim. See, the religions on the planet were created by aliens. There is no God. We are the gods. We are the creators. There is no one God up there. You mean the alien no God or, or the, on this planet no God? There's no God. Only every every single person himself is a god. Okay, he got it. So if you're a spirit and you have a block of steel, a block a block of steel. He has a cigarette package. Not the cigarette. So. Cannot, like I cannot. Oh, no. Okay. Try to pick it up. Pick it up. Without the sides going in. Ah, what to do? How to do? Without. See, try to pick it up without the sides. He, the sides go in. This, the side doesn't... 
try to pick it up without the sides going in. See, you made the sides go in. Cannot. A spirit has the same problem, trying to pick up solid steel. He can't pick it up without crushing it. The slightest pressure. A spirit cannot pick up a solid block of steel. It would be like trying to pick up that silicone wrapper. The slightest pressure, you crush it, you turn it to powder. <laughs> so that's why let him do. That's what that's why the spirit uses beam. That's what he's trying to do now. He's trying to put beams So a spirit being cannot pick up steel. It would be like trying it would just crush the steel. If you had a block of solid steel. A spirit cannot pick it up without crushing, without putting dents in the side or something. When he when he pick it, when he pick pick it, just pick it up. A little bit too much, and you're gonna see dent inside of the steel. Or crush. If you do this to steel, it's going to make a dent. Uh, so this is the reason we have prison. So the spirit had to learn how to manage moving things with beam. Not, he can't go out by himself and pick something up. He has to use a beam to pick it up. A beam, it's just all like a... A beam like a beam of energy to try to pick up. Like magic, isn't it? Hmm? Like magic. What? Magic. A beam, like a beam of energy. Yeah, like magic. A what? Magic. Magic? No. Well, oh, a beam is real, so I wouldn't say it was magic, but... Magic is not real? You do not move your butt. Move your hand. Are you moving the hand? Yes. No, you're not. Why? You're moving the form. You're moving the form. The form. And the form 
When you move the forearm, the hand move with the forearm. <laughs> You're not actually moving the hand. You're moving the forearm, and the hand move with the forearm. A forearm. You know, this I have to move the whole. So I am. I'm taking the form. I move the form and. The object inside the form moves with the form. I, yeah, I can feel it. Just a moment, please. Hmm? Just a moment. About um, three to five minutes. Five minutes? Yeah. I, might, you, I might fall asleep. How did you feel for your, your finger? Hmm? How did you feel in your finger? Did you feel anything? Finger? Your finger or your hand? You can feel anything yeah. on your hand? Only what my imagination creates. No, you don't have to imagine anything. You can feel anything? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit, right? You see, I said feel anything from me to you. For me, it's all like this. I can feel that. Yeah. How did you? I can feel that. This is pure energy for me to you. So, uh, how do you say? Because a spirit can't pick up a block of steel without crushing it like that. Society up there thought, said that free spirits, free spirits that can have the power, have this, were dangerous. Because, because, you know, they would try to be very careful to pick this up. And they would make things very, very fragile, to make it very difficult. They want to prove to everybody he's dangerous so that they can put him in prison. <laughs> so, so a free spirit being, a free being, up there, ended up on prison planets. One with the power and the freedom. Because the people that didn't have power, would try to say, look, he can't pick up cellophane wrapper, can't pick up a solid block of steel without crushing it. He's dangerous. So they try to destroy him by saying, by using the, his ability 
has the power and say that that's dangerous. Okay. But if you put every spirit being that have power on a prison planet, then who's going to run the universe? These powerful spirit beings are running galaxies and they're running the universe. And that government up there, that government up there decided that that it's too it's too easy they it's too easy for too easy for them to destroy things. Because they are so powerful. <laughs> because they have to be very careful or they break things. <coughs> These powerful be beings cannot t touch something or crush it. They have to use beams and other ways to do things. So that government will convince everybody that this free spirit being with all the power is dangerous. But if you don't have any of these free spirit beings, and you threw everybody on the planet in prison, you won't have anybody with any power to pull anybody off the planet. You would trap everybody. And nobody would be free. So the people that have the power to take you off the planet are being, are being the ones that the government, it's the same as whatever you see in the United States today, it's the same system. Anybody with spiritual power is being is being uh, attacked. Really? Yeah, they they want to use uh, the they're afraid of pe pe people with with power. Yeah. Well, <coughs> And they won't accept it. Hmm? They will accept it or not in America. What? That these people who have powerful... The spirits. United States is very similar to the government that run this galaxy. Oh, that's why everybody gets nervous when they go to USA. <laughs> so The man who created the philosophy to re-get your powers, your native powers back, <coughs> that school, he made that school in the United States and, and put it missions all around the world. They, uh, they tried to kill him three times. They, they did everything to try to stop the school from opening up the powers. In, a, in America? Hmm? Where, where is the school established? Hmm? Where is the school established? The school is called Scientology. Where? In America? It's in America, but you can't, you can't trust Scientology now. Because <coughs> I was on the internet and I was chatting them two different groups. Free zone people were the new Scientologists. And the old Scientologists was the, the church itself. And 
while I was typing, something came inside me and said, sleeper children. I started typing. Said what? Sleeper children. Sleep. Sleeper children. Sleep. You know sleep? I know sleep. Okay, sleeper sleep for, for children. Children. Huh? Got put no, got put in the high international the international high level of this school. These sleeper children were the enemy aliens. Mean the aliens taken over by the their minds were taken over by the alien enemy. When they grow up, because they are already in international, they're already in the international group, the highest level of the school. When they grew up, they will wake up and take over the church from the inside. So the man who created the church had one of his, one of his high level staff kill him. So he could, he had to kill him in a special way. So he will leave this escape, the force fields and everything, so he can go back to He had to tell him a special way to kill him in order so he could escape all of this. So he can go back to Central, Galactic Central, and tell him the illegal alien interference they're having on the planet. They're not supposed to be here. So, he went back to Galactic Central and he came back here and started another Scientology group, or he had another Scientology group made from telepathy, from people that were previous in the school break away, and they would give him a new technology from mine, te te telepathy. <laughs> you know, mine, send the information by mine. Yes, and he came back here, the commander of a fleet, and they Sanction this whole this whole um, solar system. The sun and all the planets are sanctioned as free zone. Means no interference from other alien races. And so they're right now they are protecting this. They're keeping any interference from other aliens coming down here, stopping anything like like a group to make the world better. And so... Uh, they don't want the world to become better? Hmm? They don't want the world to become better? No, I mean, they, they sanction this as free zone. Free they zone. don't want other alien races interfere with our freedom. In other words, they don't want... It's called a free zone. No interference from, for, from other alien... You know what I mean? No interference? means it's a free zone for the people here but not to aliens another place. Free zone. Free In other zone. words, people from from other star systems cannot come in here and do something. Free zone. No, no. They will get kicked out. Yeah. <laughs> You 
I mean, free zone means they allow us to find our own way out without somebody, without other aliens trying to do to stop us. They can't. So this planet is a free zone planet. I mean, this planet, you mean? Yes. Cannot be bothered by, cannot be bothered by a other alien. That's why he and anybody else who's spiritual can make something. There's nothing stopping them. But we also have international bankers. International what? International bankers. Bankers. Who want to make everyone slave. They want to make us all slaves to them. Those bankers. Who is who is a banker? Rothschilds and uh, huh? Rockefellers, the Rothschilds and oh, the riches. They're yeah. the ones that's creating all the wars and all the problems. They, they are the ones. But now they can't because recently we took over. We managed to take over. high level of our government. I forget what the name of it is. In Thailand. And they, the all the Democrats, which is like the Bushes and the Clintons and all those, all the Democrats and everything got kicked out. And that's just recent. So, so since they've been kicked out, because Hillary and all those people, Hillary Clinton and all that, they pay money to make war. And now they can't make war. They got Trump in there, and the high-level part of this U.S. government that. Uh, where all this stuff was coming from, are no, now being run by good people. Good. Being run by good people, oh, and so you're going people. to see the war stuff. So eventually all the old, that old group, the Clintons, the Bushes, and all the people making all the trouble, will end up nowhere and uh, we'll be able to make the planet better. We're going to stop all the war on the planet. That's what's happening now. From but now there, there's no war. If you want a war, you can go down there to the Middle East and take your guns. You gotta take a lot of guns with you, right? Because <laughs> there's many people you have to fight at all at the same time. Yeah. Living in a peace country is better. <laughs> so, the problem with Islam, religion, uh -huh. is they say, they're going by 
something that was written by Ma uh, Muhammad saying that anybody who is not Muslim is evil and must be killed. <laughs> That's in their religion. So, I, the Muslim is very powerful. But I have a solution. Huh? Just take all the Muslim uh -huh. religion, everybody who is Muslim, uh -huh. and make a base on the moon and put them up there and have them fight themselves. They can fight themselves. They won't have to fight us. They can fight. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you think that's a good solution? So anyway, huh. The planet, this whole area is being guarded by the Galactic Confederation as as, as free zone. <coughs> means nobody from other alien races cannot come down here and try to change anything. So we have we have a chance to change everything. We have a chance to change everything. We have a chance to make everything better. All we have to do is kill all Christians, kill all Muslims. Anybody who has a religion, kill them. See? And we can make a whole society with no religion. <laughs> That'd be the right way. <laughs> you do it. <laughs> We're going to do it. Huh? I, I, I lost my, my laser eyes ability. I used to can make a laser and cut people in half. Yeah. But I lost but now, it. No more. Now I, I don't have the power to. <laughs> when so, did you lose your power? Hmm? When did you lose your power? When they run you through the implant machine. Between lives. The people that are put here are hit with a very heavy, are knocked out with a heavy force and flooded with lives. So that when, after 53 days of this. No, I mean yourself. Hmm? I mean you, yourself. What? When did you lose your power, you see? Louder. I lost my power uh -huh. Wait. when when they trapped me on the planet. You mean when you were born? Uh, in my case. Oh, your kids. I mean your kids. I'm a different kid. Yeah, you tell me what is the difference. I came from the future. <laughs> you came from the future. And what is your past? Came from future. You've been sent people sent you back. You don't have past. Been sent back from the future. To. Sent back to the future. Because in the future, this whole galaxy is in chaos. Everybody fighting everybody. Chaos. So they chaos? send chaos. a bunch. Chaos. Hmm. Uh -huh. You, you came from chaos galaxy. Huh? You you come from chaos galaxy. You. 
um, the galaxy, in the future, the whole galaxy that we're in, Milky Way, is fighting each other. And it started, it started from this planet. What, all the trouble that's, all the trouble that's in the future started from this planet, from what came off this planet. So we have been sent back to this planet to change the future so it don't happen. That's the way we were sent back, according to it. And you don't have to pass. What is your past life? My past life? Mm -hmm. You were no, no one Oh. Spirit being have a memory for billions of years. Billions of years of memory. They carry recording of all their memory for billions of years. So every lifetime they have, one of these, can, they can have many things pop up that happen in those days here. This bad thing, this bad thing, this bad thing. So every time they're born, one or two or three of these things gets turned on. This lifetime they might have this thing happening to them, these three things happening to them. But the next lifetime, they might have another different three things happening to them. So you never can fix them because they're always changing from lifetime to lifetime. So, um, all these people have, have carrying a memory, pictures. But they have some new ones now, created right out of source. In source. Right out of source, brand new. And I'm one like that. With, I found another one on the internet. You, you, your thought is like brand new. In other words, I haven't had a past life. When. I was in the school, they put a meter, they got a meter that can check reactions in your mind. And you hold these cans and he has a meter and he can ask you questions. It took me all the way to my birth. It asked me to go earlier, to an earlier lifetime. And there was nothing there. So. Who told you? The teacher asked the school, you, the, the school. school that I told you about. Ah, the school. The they book. took me, they took me into my path all the way to birth, and they asked me to go earlier, to an earlier lifetime, and there was nothing there. <laughs> there wasn't an earlier <laughs> lifetime. <laughs> you didn't find anything. It's hmm? nothing. Nothing. But I had to give them something, because they're not going to believe it. They're not going to believe there's somebody who's new, out of source, because they never found it before. So, one spirit being, one spirit being outside the physical universe, can have 10 or 20 
viewpoint. Viewpoint is like viewpoint is like somebody with eyes that's running in the body. Viewpoint is like something that's running this body. The eye. The eye, that's me. It's running the body. It's a viewpoint. The spirit is using the viewpoint to use these eyes to view something. But this spirit being might have 20 more viewpoints. And he's running 20 different bodies around the world or even off the planet. <coughs> that means this one spirit being could be running me, this viewpoint on this body, another viewpoint on another body in France, and another viewpoint on another body in China. It could have 20 different people or more that is running at the same time. Yet, it, it, uh, once a spirit doesn't usually just run one body, it runs... But for you, you have 20. It's usually a spirit, every spirit being runs more... Usually every spirit being runs something, can run 20 or more bodies. It means everyone in here could be running 20 or more bodies. Special. Every spirit being like you. Uh -huh. I have one only like me, but you have but more. But can have no. You could have twenty or other spirit. Oh. You can have no spirit. <coughs> <coughs> one spirit, mm -hmm. but ten or twenty viewpoints. The viewpoint is like a ball that's attached to this body that this spirit can use to see and run the body from. But this spirit can be running one ball on this body and another ball on another body and another ball on another body all around the It could be running 20 different bodies on this planet, one spirit being. It can be running 20, 20 different bodies on the planet. And see, the man, I was list, listening to the lecture that the man wrote, he was very worried. Worry about you. No, he was very worried that there would be another one like him. He's making Scientology, uh -huh. this new science. And he was very afraid there might be another one like him making another Scientology on the other side of the planet because same spirit. You understand? In the lecture, he's talking, he was, he was very afraid there might be another one of him, one of these 20, you know? Uh -huh. He was very afraid that there might be another, another, one, another one like him that comes from the same spirit mm -hmm. that's going to create the same Scientology, create the same organization that is on the other side of the planet and he's going to be in a battle with himself. You know what I mean? If he is opening up Scientology and he has another another he doing the same thing on the other side of the planet, they're going to be fighting each other, you see. Right? So on the tape, he says he was very worried that there was, there might be another one like him from the same spirit trying to create the same organization but on the other side of the world. <coughs> and then suddenly you hear him say, 
No, there isn't. Not on this planet. <coughs> Which means he does have another another viewpoint running a body, but not on this planet. He has only one viewpoint running on this planet. So <laughs> means the, view, the other viewpoints that he had that belonged to the same spirit. Only one him, only one of him was here. The other viewpoints were not on the planet, they were someplace else. On some other planet. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, that's the story of This is a true story. Yeah. Hmm? It's a true story. Is it true? This is what you it's, find it's when you, real. if I was take you on a meter and take you into the past and find out about you, huh. you would find out all the different things you did this lifetime and all the lifetime before. You can take me like that, huh? I can. I haven't been trained. But my friends have been trained can do it. Yeah, you have to go to school and learn that. Uh. Yeah, but uh, I can't go to that school now because... It's closed now. They're not allowed. <clears throat> no. That school has been infiltrated. It means, you know, when somebody joins something, mm -hmm. to destroy it. Infiltrate means that if I send, if I have an army and I have another army and I send some of my men over to join the other army in secret, right? Then say I have an army and I send three people to join the other army as spy, mm -hmm. but they're working for me, not that army. Oh, yeah. Oh, cool, so. Uh, in my case, The um, school mm -hmm. <clears throat> was pe people from aliens mm -hmm. had put sleeper children in the high high level management. They were the children of the people at the high level of the organized in the international level of the of the school. These sleeper children were aliens. They were, were the aliens had taken over their mind so that when they grow up they take control of the church from inside. Yeah. And so that school got taken over by unfriendly aliens, our enemies. And they're just exploiting it. They're just trying to steal as much money out of everybody they can. You can't go back to that one. That's why he had one of his people, he, he knew to kill him in a special way so he could get off the planet, go back to Galactic Central, come here again, and create a new group called the free zone.
trees are. Either free zone. the new the old school was called Scientology this school was called Free Zone and you can download technology and do it yourself if you want. <coughs> the meter course, the soul course, and give you all the courses for learning all of it. How, how, you can teach yourself with somebody else, two people, how to go how to the technology teach you how to find out all about yourself and your past. It's a zip file. You can do all of you can download all this and do the courses yourself. That's that's the uh, so I'm going to trust the old school because it's been taken over by aliens.
This is the old school. All over the world. But you can't trust them. Because it's been taken over by aliens. You came over a long time ago? Mm -hmm. You came over a long time ago, right? Yeah. This is the new one, after they came back. <coughs> the same founder, but After he had himself killed, he went back to Galactic Central. They came over here, he, came, he, he, he became a commander of, he was already a commander, but he became a commander of a fleet. They brought, they came over, he, he, he told them what the aliens were doing illegally, illegally, the aliens that were messing up the planet were supposed to be here. And so we let them know what was happening. And then they brought a fleet over here and declared this area free zone. No interference. Nobody can, no other alien race can bother this. It's, in other words, this zone is for us, not anybody. It's not for any other alien race. It, However, we decide to make is is what is why they call it free zone. I mean, we have to be the ones that change it. No, not going to be nobody else from another alien race can come down here and try to change it. So that's why they call it free zone. And. Uh, came back with the new technology. And you can learn how you can learn how to do it. They have all the courses on this website you can download and learn how to do it yourself. Hmm? You see. I was better off in my last life. In my last life, I was a vampire. And the food was free. I just play all night and sleep all day and eat and suck everybody's blood at night. 
I'm just kidding. Okay, so what do we do now? I, I showed you everything I could. Go to sleep or something? So to tell you the truth, since this planet declared, this planet in this area declared free zone, this is the only place in the whole universe where you can, you can free yourself. And most of the people in this school will tell you they don't want to go back up there where we came from in the stars because it's it's, it's a myth. Myth I mean they have a lot of war, right? They have a lot of trouble up there. But in so, this earth could be free soul. So you might say even though this is a prison planet, we you're lucky to be here, maybe. <laughs> even prison. Because see They can, they know we got, can open the technology up down here, but none of them are going to come down here to stop us because they don't want to be trapped on the planet themselves. All our memory gone. See, because you can end up anywhere. You can end up in Africa as a monkey. I mean, not a monkey, but a... Uh, You can end up anywhere on the planet in trouble if you came down here you don't have a choice of being the president of the United States or oh. Go sleep. Uh. 